Hello, my name is Alter, and welcome back to a post episode reaction for you. Uh, I'm doing uh, episode 7, season 1 of American Gods, Mad Prayer for Mad Sweeney. And uh, this is, uh, again, as I said in the last uh, 10 minutes or 5 minutes of my video, I said that it is uh, my, more of a filler episode, but I like how they actually reflected between uh, Mad Sweeney and Laura because uh, the the story is about Mad Sweeney essentially and uh, Laura is more of the um, humanity that uh, Mad Sweeney had in the past times before he owed Odin something and uh, according to him it was a battle because he didn't want to he didn't want to um, he ran away from the war uh, essentially and uh, he didn't want to fight because he saw his own death and it was scary for himself so um, he ran away and yeah okay so um, this this story incorporates um, someone named uh, S.A. Magellan S.A. Magellan? S.A. Magellan yeah so I I thought they said I I see Miguel uh, for a moment there, but uh, it's definitely E S E Miguel, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, she is. She looks like a lot like Laura. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, um, and definitely that's why I said there is a lot of reflect re reflections between her and um, Laura. And uh, in this in this story, uh, S. Magellan is Irish, and uh, she grew up with the tales of free folk and fairies and leprechauns and all of that. So she believed in them, and um, apparently they they prayed to them by giving them um, milk or cream, uh, bread, uh, and uh, foods that uh, they can give to the uh, fairy and free folk. So uh, yeah, the that was basically the episode and um, they're both going to find um, Odin now in Wisconsin and uh, Laura let um, Laura let the Salim uh, Laura let Salim go so that uh, he can find his gin whatever um, so yeah I thought this was a solid filler but again with any type of filler it's still filler to me because it doesn't move the plot in any way or doesn't spur the story in any way but it adds a layer to the character so th this particular type of filler I, I, I enjoy uh, the Laura one uh, the Laura filler episode I didn't really think we needed that because I was like yeah I could have I could have uh, put this together on my own um, maybe a short like 30 like 30 minutes something i wouldn't have minded it but it was the normal 52 episode, uh 52 minute episode thing um <clears throat> and i i wonder if matsuini is well i wonder what he really is because he is definitely a leprechaun but you know he said like he's lived long enough and you know he was a king too so i definitely would want to know a little bit more about mansuini because you know he's such an enigma and we don't really see much of him and that's why i think if more backstory for him is really good and i like that um i like that ibis is actually writing his story um so yeah i don't i don't really know much else to say because uh, again um this is a really short episode for me because there is basically just three parts which is the first part being the jekyll and ibis part where they are putting uh like the body and you know they're basically coroners and um they they're morticians <coughs> they're morticians so they're essentially taking care of the rotting corpse um and also the second uh the second part is um Matt Sweeney and Laura again i'm saying this as in there is two parts to Matt Sweeney and Laura the Matt, Matt Sweeney and Laura in the Irish sense which is the S.A. Magellan and uh, Matt Sweeney sense and also the real life sense where uh, Matt Sweeney and Laura are going to find um 
the uh, uh, the god Odin uh, to possibly resurrect her so that she can be together with um, uh, Shadow again. And I really do like the comparisons between Asi Miguelin and uh, Laura because uh, there is some parts of this where, you know, it's, uh, it's saying like, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do in those times. And it's basically sex, obviously. Um, and also she turns into sort of a thief in the first part and then, you know, she's it's like she has to fuck Warden. Uh, a little bit and you know she carries a child obviously from that and uh, it turns out uh, a person wants to buy her because you know in those days it was much more of the slavery thing that uh, happened in those times and uh, yeah I definitely thought Mad Sweeney was really interesting and um, you know what this series has uh, has shown me is that you can do a really good adaptation of a, a novel into the uh, series because and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of it and here's the thing there is pros and cons to that and I'm, I'm not gonna say that it's really really bad but it, it, it does kind of hinder your viewing audience's um, experience so this this one was a narration within a narration and uh, that is always very apparent in uh, book type stories um, being adapted into a series uh, that's because um, you know we, we gotta follow the book a little bit more and um, there's always something that you can bring in to visualize in in a better way than the book can because there's only so much description, descriptive words that you can put in a book and for um, either a short media or a long media which is either a TV series or a movie it can help your story be boosted because it is a visual medium and it definitely helps it and I definitely think this episode shows that it helps it but it also shows me that there is a lot of writing in here that I'm like okay now that I've found this out I don't necessarily need the book and the difference between this uh, whole series and uh, Game of Thrones is that Game of Thrones sort of has that feeling as well it's more that I am really bought into the whole um, the whole political and the whole like character side of things and don't get me wrong the characters here are strong it's just that here in this series i don't know why it's very apparent that the the book is always coming in to the story and for me i think that it has to be a well-balanced thing and that's why i said it's more of one episode is filler bringing in the whole book thing and then uh, the other episode is mainly the, the the main plot the main plot is basically your main two characters which is shadow and odin that's the thing i always say like you have to keep your story focused you know you can add in your side characters and you know we can have them interact of of the main characters but there is supposed to be connections and in story you can jar it up because it is sort of like it's sort of a writer type style like in the movie world it's a director type style and uh, in a book world is more a writer type style which they are pulling out of the main story uh, to give you a random side story and sometimes for me when I'm reading books as well I'm like why did we need that? like because sometimes it doesn't really play into the main story but obviously I know the series well and I definitely think it will be playing in with the main story so my nitpick here is that I just felt like we could have done maybe 
a 40 minute thing we didn't we didn't really need the full 52 in this one again that's why i'm always saying like the, the the filler episodes in this whole series is really something where i'm like you can cut this you can cut that you can cut this you can cut that and uh this the the filler episodes are really cut well i don't know why um and a few other episodes were really cut well and i'm like <laughs> damn it um i don't know if it's because of me or if it's because of other fans doing these type of videos uh, blind reactions and whatnot um but it's definitely making my job harder to uh, edit it down uh because this is a solid uh filler episode even though i'm like yeah we didn't really need this but i do kind of like the break sometimes from the main story so yeah that's about it guys uh i hope you i hope you know that i uh, like this episode i've mentioned it three times i think um and yeah i definitely think this is an episode where i was like i found myself having more of a connection to mad sweeney so i think that was the main point of this episode so yeah guys that's about it and i will see you in the next episode see you then mm -hmm.